movie lovers, Matt Cochran here, and I have a, sadly, it's a really bad one for you, it's called, Knox Goes Away, starring Michael Keaton, and featuring Al Pacino. In this movie, uh, Michael Keaton, who directs and, you know, has a hand, directs and stars in it, is a really skilled hit man, but he's losing his faculties uh, at a fast rate when he finds out by his doctor that he has a rare form of dementia that moves really fast. And he only has a matter of weeks to get all his affairs in order. So he's trying to keep it a secret from his handlers. And when he decides to do one last job, it goes south. And, and in his haste to clean it up and make it look like he wasn't involved, he slips. So he's trying to clear it up before they find out. And he, and he gets contacted by his son, who he's been estranged with for several years. Uh, when he comes to him for help because he ended up killing somebody himself. So he agrees to help him out. Uh, and, and things are somehow going smoothly. Uh, but it's apparent that this father and hitman is doing something of his own agenda in helping his son and he might be framing his son for murder for something he blames his son for that was done to him uh will will it all come to bear before Time runs out and, he, and the killer loses his mind, or or where will his son uh, be locked away at the same time uh, as this aging killer loses his mind forever? Um, now. The, despite the strange plot for a uh, 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 Hitman movie, um, it might have been an okay movie uh, if it weren't for, you know, the unbelievable, unrealistic plot that nobody tries to take this this hitman out for the things that he knows and he's somehow able to keep everything a secret while framing his son in an elaborate scheme it also has little splashes of political messaging that ruins the quality of the movie by a long shot uh, so I will give this a two and a half out of five. I do not recommend it for anything. And it's sad to say about Michael Keaton because generally I like his movies. But if he wants to keep losing money like the industry has going woke, then more power to but I do not recommend this movie for anything more than a one-time watch. Um, go find something better. It's probably the worst idea for a Hitman movie 
ever written. So, uh, so if you want to watch this, it's it's available on Amazon Prime, other streaming networks, and maybe on DVD and Blu-ray at some point. Uh, but again, I suggest watching something a lot better written. So, um, if you're on Rumble, hit me a like, subscribe to my channel. If you're on YouTube, hit me a like, subscribe to my channel. And of course, watch those movies. If you have any comments for me, you can leave them down in my comment sections below. And if you want to join Rumble, but you haven't registered an account, register one with my referral link at the top of the screen here. And it will give me a slight commission if you do decide to do something of your own on the platform. Hope to see you around. Bye. Thank you.